Hey, Wedding Crushers, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day. Um, Kevin, photographer, ask a good question. Hey, um, I talked to a bride the other day. She did not book over the phone and I sent her the contract. What's a good follow-up system? So I want to address that in this video um, because I've gone all over the board. The last 10 years, I've had the most complicated follow-up system known to man where stuff is happening every day and they're getting emails and texts and, and videos and all this stuff. Um, the number one thing that I can tell you is if you can seal the deal, if you can sweeten the offer and make it irresistible within 24 hours, you've got a better chance of booking than the follow-up system, any follow-up system, okay? Because I've got one, I can show you on my laptop and I will, I'll show it to you, but that's not what I'm using. Um, that is not what I'm using at all right now. There's, there's little follow-up system. There's only, um, there's only two touches. So, so here's my exact follow-up system. One, um, if, if they don't book within 24 hours, they automatically get an email two days later that says, hey, just wanted to make sure you got the contract, uh, make sure everything's good. A lot of people will respond to that immediately. If they don't, um, for me right now, I'm so swamped that I, they kind of fall through the cracks. But if you don't have enough gigs and you want to book more, here's what I suggest you do. Um, every two days, do something. Um, so that two days later, it, it send an email that says, hey, just making sure you got the contract. Two days after that, send them a text, a personal text, and just say, hey, Sally, um, Kevin here, just checking in, making sure everything was good, see if you had any questions with my service. Um, doesn't really matter what you say, just be cool and and leave it kind of open-ended. Um, what I have found is if you ask a question, instead of it open-ended, actually, don't leave it open-ended. Um, <laughs> repeat or delete that, dang it, we're live, we can't delete. So if you ask a specific question, like, um, I don't know, do you, do you guys still want the photo booth or just a, um, is there any, are there any reservations that you, you might have? Um, or if you did have a, a discount and it was you know by the 15th if you book by the 15th then we're it's it's uh, $200 off that's a great follow-up because hey um, tomorrow's the 15th and I just want to get you guys in by the end so you get you get the discount but if that still doesn't work text on this on the second day or the fourth day and then on the sixth day um, actually call them just dial them up call them if they don't answer leave a really cool voicemail um, you can email, but again, their inbox is getting destroyed. And if you do email them, email them some good stuff. Like, um, hey, check out our blog post that has a um, hundred different things that you can do for wedding photography to make your wedding better. I don't know wedding photography as much, but mine would be like, hey, here's a top um, dance, top ten dance songs of 2019. Um, some kind of a bloggy type thing where it seems like a newsletter almost where it's going out to everybody, it's not specifically talking to them. It's just like some helpful stuff that you just want to stay in front of them. But at the end of the day, your best follow-up is closing the deal within 24 hours. All right, guys, hope that helps. Listen, if um, uh, Crystal or anybody that's in this group, if you have a different follow-up system or if you have something that's working, um, comment below, or at least let's talk about follow-ups today. Let's see what your follow-up system is see what's going on, and let's start a little bit of a conversation. All right, talk to you guys soon.